hello and a warm welcome to this new video so today I'm just keep going with my symphony day and I'm working on my CMS and this time I'm creating uh, a new article so previously the previous video just shared my work on uh, on the screen with the music so today I'll just be talking and trying to explain myself okay and uh, in today's functionality one of them is try to implement multiple file upload the previous one was just simply um, a simple uh, single file single image per article and today I'm trying to uh, do the multiple upload as I said I'm just repeating myself anyway uh, okay so if I jump to a symphony website just looking for for a hint for a guide I just want that uh, there is a possibility or option called multiple and if I just jump into it just it's a type of boolean and default is false when set to true the user will be able to upload multiple file at the same time okay the, but the problem here are you, they don't tell you where to put this uh, bloody multiple true <coughs> so uh, the key uh, well generally people will put this multiple or just multiple oh no auto complete multiple to true okay uh, yep I think I miss can what's wrong okay no problem if I refresh then I re inspect this block then everything everything look well so we have multiple equals to multiple and everything seems fine but the problem here that this is not okay because if I do submit, uh, actually let me just show you what am I talking about. So this is, will be the title, the excerpt, whatever, the content. The author ID still did not fix that uh, dynamically selectable uh, uh, authors. And uh, here if I just jump to select multiple images, for example these five, and let me just go back to the controller for a second okay it's already there uh, so it's file uh, okay or just this one should be this one okay raw dump okay now if I hit submit I oops a child does not exist I uh, just change this back to image refresh and there you go so I only have one image the problem is uh, if I just get back to the form, I'd like, I'd like to show you uh, the problem uh, to really submit multiple files we have to pass an array of, um, of image or files or of, uh, of, um, of indexes let's say so we need this exact structor if I submit now and oops I just have a no uh, image form okay let's dump the whole of it get data that we can see it uh, oh probably I go for a request yep yes come on buddy files and let's hope this will show all the files method files request Ah, it's not, it's not, yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, so I'm just having uh, all of them. If I just jump, so it just show me that it's image with an array of five. Now I'm gonna just get back and revert the changes I did. Uh, so I'll just remove the brackets, but you can see the difference. So I will just move here and okay there you go and i will do resubmit these four images oops mm -hmm. i look handsome there by the way and i do submit then i have one and only one image so let's go back to the definition of our type and as i said this is a misleading even in the, the documentation of prestashop to fix things correctly we need to really place the multiple attribute right here after the attribute array and everything should work fine 
and there you go so it's automatically uh, appended let me just refresh the page again that you can see it there you go so it's appended and now if i do just submit the data then everything could be uh or should be well uh tag let's go for this and tag and the images i will select as much possible as i want and for sure i can limit how much image is possible to be selected and open submit and i have these five uh, or this uh, this uh, table of five images then the rest of the machine is very easy just to look through that array and process the move uh, methods that we implemented in the previous video if you watch it okay uh, so what i am going to do here is very simple so i do call this files let's remove this empty space uh, a little bit of command get the images uh, array or object well, actually it's an object if you do see here it's an object very well and after this we will loop through actually uh, i would like to access this object and get these images so this um parameters um i will do get oops and this of i think it must be outside of it yep there you go so i'm just pointing myself into this index and after this it become an array and i can access it by the property image uh so i get uh what's wrong here let me just remove this Oh yeah, so just waiting for what I'm going to put there. Just remove this one. And at this level I do exit again. I'd like to just for example print uh, my files. Okay. Refresh. Okay. Uh, if throw an exception handling cannot load resources dev. Hmm? Well, uh, <laughs> what files get? Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, so it's not really clear, but it's there. So we have an array of zero. Let me just show this. Uh, iter iteration. The file name should be just five or six, or depending on the how much image you selected. Uh, all right, there you go. So images we have um, really now uh, in a row that we can do for each for it on it files as dollar file okay then for each one of them I will create uh, a new image a new record or new action to move them just uh, looking for the previous code and it seemed like a I took it off so I will do right here let me just define uh, upload what the heck upload directory uh, so I call this upload there are which is equal to dollar this get param and we get the parameter that we defined in, uh, in the service uh, I really forget the name but it's called like upload directory yep this one that seems good then next uh, the loop inside the loop i have this uh, new or final final file i see yep so two row okay equals to the name will be uh, like unique so we need to do md5 like generate any kind of random unique id or just the date or anything just uh, up to you or even you can set it uh, to be uh, like um, SEO as your friendly you we can uh, grab the title and just concatenate or remove all the spaces but we can get problem especially with french because we do uh, write things with uh, these e accent 
or uh, yeah, this kind of stuff that can cause, can cause problem in the URL of the image. Okay, so a uh, unique ID could be enough. Then I will concatenate uh, a point and the log file guess guess oops guess extension. I hope I did not misspell it. Yeah, to if you are in Antilage, you can just help your IDE uh, further with this. So var or oh, at var uh, files, uh, you can just file, file upload, I think, or upload file, yes. And just to find it, I like this, uh, the IDE will know um, how to guess that what code it can, all that functionality can be grabbed or used with it variable so we get it's actually now available in my control space action okay so we have the file name and now we are ready to move that file uh, i think move dollar this ah dollar file sorry file move there you go so the directory which is the upload ar and the file name who is the final name oops and at this point we can say we are ready to upload the images uh first of all let me just show you the folder let's in some backhand five uh web uploads oh, okay it's empty then i can just get back here and hit refresh and nothing happened but i have five pretty images really uploaded correctly with quite random uh, extensions and with the right extension of the image the original extension so we have png gpag and everything seems to be well and now uh yeah now uh i think it's good it's good for importing just one step is to finish inserting this new article inside uh, inside my inside the database okay uh, but here uh, because I just uh, let me just check the the relation between the article and the image I think it was one to one so we cannot really store uh, five images for one article but here we can just update the entity uh, of article and uh, and the entity of uh, image. So I'm just article, I think I did update that. Let me just check that again. We have protected, we have image. So uh, it's one too many article. Yeah, that's good. And it's mapped by ID. Okay. And uh and if i jump to image uh, it must be many to one because an article in my logic uh, this uh, this application an article could have multiple image but not the the opposite an image yes yes this is the case this is my logic uh okay this is the entity so i, I would like to see article cool then okay i did that great so I target the entity's article and it's inverted by ID, uh, which is the ID of the article. And the dominant here is, the dominant entity is the image. Very well. Okay, let me just check my t-shirt because the last time my wife said, you t-shirt, it wasn't okay. Anyway, uh, cool. Uh, let's get back to the controller. And uh, with the, with the with <coughs> sorry, with each image, uh, I have to, create a new instance of image uh, okay so right here I will do um, how to do that how to do that okay uh, let's put end to this video since it was good so far and in the next video i'll just show you how to save these multiple image this many to one this many many images to one article so i'll uh, see you in the next one ciao